Itora could also be Itora is a an action adventure is what they list it. It plays a little bit like a Metroidvania. Very specifically, actually, it plays a little bit more like a Symphony of the Night Castlevania um, in terms of like the jumping and the movement and everything. Not not as pitch perfect as your traditional platformer, um, but also not as clunky as say Castlevania 2, right? It's 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 Symphony of the Night level of clunkiness. <laughs> <laughs> Not my favorite movement style, but uh, it's starting to grow on me a little bit. And the gameplay is, and the de depth of the game, and um, the art style and everything is, is very good. It's very good. Now, the game is $19.99 typically, uh, but if you happen to watch it for April 4th, 2022, then uh, it's on sale for $16.99, which is a pretty good uh, launch offer. It came out March 21st. Uh, continue with the last game, that's what we're going to do. Let me get in here. There are some story elements uh, and whatnot. I might skip through some of the story stuff because I want to show you guys mostly the mechanics. The story has been fine. Um, you're you're basically the last surviving human, and everybody around you is kind of like, what the fuck is a human, right? Um, but just movement-wise, you could just see... When I say Symphony of the Night, here's what I'm talking about. It's where you have, like, kind of a floaty air, right? So you don't really have full control. Um, the, like, you can can't quite pull all the way back to where you started, basically. Uh, you have a lot more vertical hop, hop than you do horizontal. Um, whereas your traditional platformer would instead of giving you a super high hop, it'll just give you a double jump instead, right? So be about this height and then you get another jump and you can change directions that way. There's lots of characters here you could talk to. Uh, not all of them have things to say. I mean, this guy, you come with a hui, a hui. But let's go out into the open here and, uh, and do some work. You can see the combat, how it plays in upper right corner. Those are like souls, some kind of currency that you can spend. I have a lot of them, but I'm not sure if that's really a lot though. Upper left corner, you can see my health, my um, my mana bar, which I, or my stamina rather. You can see that's moved, used up like that. We have some movement, flexibility. You can crouch down, you could crawl. To crawl on any things, you can poke, right? Eyes are closed for some reason. You can hit up if you'd like to. Up, 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 up. But you have a three combo here. One, two, and three in that direction. You also have a roll. Whoa, whoa! You have a roll as well. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Jeez. And you can hang on the side of uh, ledges too. <laughs> now, my complaints about the movement. I wouldn't really say to call them complaints. Just identifying things. Oh, you're just going to keep going. Whoa. My, my, my uh, uh, notes about the movement. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Um, again, they should not detract from the actual, from, from you deciding if it's a game for you. If you play Symphony of the Night and other uh, Castlevania, like, or Symphony of the Night inspired RPGs, we play them on here, or, or Metroidvanias, rather. Oh, we got hit up for this guy. Then you're going to be feel right at home here, for sure. Zap that one. Like I said, the art style is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Good. I don't want to use my heal just yet. What do we got here? Some more of those got currency. Is there a path over here? Nope. There have been some hidden shit around though. The game is not without its uh, secrets. Whoa! Duck. Oh, that's I'm not getting that. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, I am getting that. You what's up? Oh, oh. These little guys, it's- Oh, he made it back! Okay. This thing's at an angle, that's new to me. Oh. I touched it. I hate when that happens. Nice. Quick refill. Quick save. So let's go and show you the map over here. You can pull it up anytime, but just to show you. Uh, typical Castlevania, or Metroidvania style map. Um, shows you everything you need. Room by room, basically. Tile by tile. You also have, um, let me see, where's my inventory at? Isn't there like inventory? Let's see, um, second tab. Yeah, here it is. We also have, uh, Pale Feathers. This is a, uh, consumable currency you could use to upgrade your current weapon. Your current weapon is actually a character that's part of the game. Um, and I have a feeling that because of that, you're stuck with this weapon for the entirety of the game. So, um, not that different from, you know, Metroidvania where you have basically a variations of a whip or something for the entire, for the entire game or variations of a blaster or something. Um, but... I do anticipate getting more and more moves uh, with all this. More powers, more moves, more spells, etc., etc. Whoa! 
Don't, don't pull up yet. Oh, damn. Can I just hang here? That was weird. That was interesting. Dang it. What's up, man? What's up? Can't get... Uh, can I make that jump? <laughs> this is where low guys more double jump will come in handy by mid anyway. Ooh, no. Ah! I should just rolled. Like this guy. I frames, baby. I frames, baby. M milk it. Look at this guy. Boy oh, frames. <laughs> There's your quick lesson in iframes if you weren't sure what they were. Oh, can't make that. Wait a minute. Is there something else over here I can hold, grab onto? No. Okay. Then here. Okay, yeah. Uh, I have to get something else. Where's that flying? It's still in the trees. <laughs> flying bug thing. Then that, right? Oh, this one spits out gnats. Oh. But so far, I've been enjoying the, the adventure element. I really have. Like, the level design is great. I've had, I've had a couple different biomes already. They've all been pretty well designed. The, the level design has been great. Like, the platforming has been super good. I'm enjoying it. There's plenty of, I mean, there's plenty of campfires around, so, you know, you have plenty of opportunity to save. If you's a bitch. Oh, that's all this was. Son of a... <laughs> I thought it was something special. Just to show you what it looks like when you heal up, because I'm about to get a refill on that. Butting like that. And if you don't have any gems, that purple gem up left corner, he'll let you know. Or she'll let you know. Oh, she doesn't do it. Because I don't know. Oh, because I have full health. But she'll let you know when you uh, go to activate the spell, it'll show that it's missing. So good intuitive, intuitive gameplay. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Hand drawn water. You know how hard it is to draw water? <laughs> I don't know. I think it is, right? <laughs> Look at it. It's going to jump down. We are. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> that was a funky landing. Let's go slide past the boss. Can I move this? Ooh. I don't seem to have an ability to do that. Maybe I'll get like a glove or something. Oh, what is this? This is new. Absorb. So they don't really explain what that is. Hold and charge a powerful attack. See? Well, I told you. I told you we got upgraded abilities. Yes. I know. I'm hitting. Oh, I have to hold A. Okay. L. Oh, yeah. Great animation. Great animation. Look how it's like two stage. Hold it and then. Huh. Oh, that's sexy. That's nice. Hmm. Can I. Nope. No, I cannot. Okay. I like how it acknowledges that I am striking down, right? That's nice. That's nice that the, the actual arc of the weapon attack does go straight down. You know, in games, they typically just put like a hit block in front of you, and then animation will just swipe through it. This one extends it out for the entire duration of the animation. What are you not tell me, man? No. See, that's how you hold X. Remember, you got that thing. Remember, you got it, sweetie. Make sure you use it. Tell me what to do. Whoa! I <laughs> just poke him. <laughs> oh. Okay. What's in here? Oh man, all that for that? I mean, it's great that we have a lot of them, but... I was expecting something more. But yeah, again, you're not going to be picking up weapons and shit, right? So what's the deal then? Yeah, I got this. I can't go down over here. Can I heavy attack? We tried that already, right? Heavy attack downward, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, I love it. I can reposition. Dang. That's sick. Good. Because there are some, some things that lock you in. Like, for example, swinging, right? Once you commit to... A direction you feel like you're kind of stuck there for a second too. Well, actually, no, it feels pretty good. Maybe I was tripping yesterday. When I was playing this the first time. 
There's a pressure from chat. That's what it was. All right, let's go up here. Fuck. I'm gonna poke it a couple times. I'm trying to hide up in the hide up in the, the ivy. Little bouncy bulbs. Gotta have those in your game. Whoop! Whoa, gosh! Ah! Oh. <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna jump that high up. I wanna crawl up. Is slipping over here? I can smash? I'm gonna be smashing everything. The games are pretty good at kind of keep me on a, on rails too, which makes me feel like there's a reason why they don't have the Castlevania or Metroidvania uh, tag. There are some elements that I feel like I have to go back for, but for the most part, it's been pretty straightforward, which kind of, again, it explains the... Hmm. Oh, okay. Hold on there. Okay, good. Explains the lack of Metroidvania tag, right? We can't just be, you know, whipping, whipping around tags all over the place because we feel like it, right? We gotta, we gotta actually earn it. There's, 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 there's rules. Okay, let me see. So left and up, it looks like. Oh, there's also a down. Oh, yeah, I can't go through there. I don't know what that red feather is, so don't ask. <laughs> it's probably an objective of some sort, you know? Just thinking. <laughs> Ooh, okay, can't make that jump. Can I jump through platforms? Oh, dang it. Dang it, I definitely haven't been through here, though. <laughs> Have I not been through here? This looks new. It is new. Uh-huh. Don't tell me every time. Come on now. Hold my hand. Video game. Jeez. Jeez. Press A to jump. <laughs> Two hours into the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's never ending. Ooh, I was hoping we'd get another biome here. Otherwise, you guys just see green. Look at that. Nice little shader action. I wonder if that's all how they did this. I'm sure some of you guys probably know for sure, but I feel like this is probably just simple shader over maybe the layers or something. Individual layers. I love that. Look at that. That looks great. It'd be kind of neat, neat all to say. Yeah, I was saying, if I get a little more silhouette of my character. Boy, I love that. Look at that lighting. Wow! I'm in love. That is gorgeous. Man, I wish I had gotten to this part on stream. Chat would have loved this. Hand-drawn game. You know me. I'm loving these, these shit. I, got, I have a shirt, actually. Some of you guys might not know this, but I have a shirt on, like, designed by humans or something. Uh, that actually says hand-drawn, like, it's like hand-drawn shirt or something. <laughs> and it's just, like, my handwriting that I just took a picture of. I just, like, wrote the words, like, hand-drawn, or this shirt is hand-drawn, or some stupid shit. And I still love that stupid fucking shirt. <laughs> Progress. Oh, what is this? It's a blue one. Can I... Okay, I can't really get much higher than that, which means we probably have a double jump or something coming up here, right? Right, right! Okay, good. So smooth, too. Gameplay smooth. Oh, hmm. We smash this to get it out of the way, we push it out of the way, what are we gonna do? Oh, what is that? Oh yeah, it's one of those like weird rabbit thingies. Don't do that. Okay, how do I get this thing off here? There we go. Going up! Oh, that's open enough. Now, is this a secret or is this the way? Oh, hmm. Oh. Music awesome, too. Very good. Dude, what? Now, you can't roll out of a, um, or into a, a jump. You don't get to carry that momentum. So I won't, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Yeah, see? <laughs> you don't get to carry the momentum with you. You just roll. And then when you finish the roll, then I'll let you do something else. Would you die? So I'm gonna try it one more time, because I, 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 I'm 
I don't want to go all the way back. <laughs> no, it's part of the game. It's part of the game. What's up here? Nothing. Okay. All right. Oh, that was on the edge, so that's definitely not happening. All right, we're just gonna roll our way through this. Whoa. So what's up here, huh? Look at that. Up, down. Wow. There's another path up to the left over here. Well, that starting area. Ah, so out of breath. Woo! I love it. There's something. There's something coming up. That we're gonna we're gonna be able to use to get over all these things. Donut! Can you hear donut barking? Some car might be driving by. <laughs> we blocked half the window so that he wouldn't do that. And he still just listens for cars or listens for people walking by. That's enough for him, that's all he needs. Ooh, this is like a secret area. Aw. Dang, that's the only way. Oh, just down to the bottom. Let's go. Oh! Oh, all the way down. So over here, then, this is where we've not been. Yes! I just smashed this rock and I get fucked up by a stupid gnat. Fat, little chubby gnat thing. Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! <laughs> Probably more of those souls. Dang it! I'm gonna do all these souls, man! I gotta spend them. Plus, I have a feather, so the feather will allow me to spend it on some upgrades. How about we do this? Let's, um, I don't have the ability to teleport. So let's do this. Uh, let me go to the bottom here and explore to see if there's anything here quickly that we can, uh, push forward here. Maybe a save? Yes! Good. So I don't have the ability to teleport yet. But I'm ima I imagine it's coming soon, where you can teleport to different... Oh, this is rad. Hold on, is there a boss down here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just a great view. All right, here's what I'm, I'm going to cut to the city so you can see what the town looks like. All right, we are back in town. We can go to a couple shops that they can hear. We can see uh, where you can spend some of this currency. Uh, you see everyone's got like a weapon that... <laughs> <laughs> with a face on it. Uh, so here we can, this is very uh, Mandalorian, isn't it? Um, so we can go and increase health or increase stamina. Both of them are great. I have a black, I think I have one black feather that I could spend here. Yeah, I have one. So this is where I could get and I spend, spend those uh, things to get an upgrade. Uh, using that secondary currency, which is the, or secondary material, which is the feather. There's other like pale feathers also you could pick up and those ones will... Uh, those allow you to upgrade something else. Let me see if I can find a, uh, is in here, maybe? Alright, here we go. Yeah, so additional cure, stronger cures. So this just basically upgrades your health, or your, uh, your, uh, um, um, potion that you could use. So, other than that, though, that's it. And this is only the first, it's only the first, uh, town that I've come across. Uh, wait, I don't think this is one, is it? No, it's not. Yep. So as you see, it's a pretty, pretty solid adventure game. Beautiful, beautiful graphics. Um, so far, it's been pretty accessible. Like, you know, kids can play it, adults can play it. I don't really feel there's anything in here that's uh, um, that's too uh, too young or too old, basically. It seems pretty pretty vanilla, right? I think like a Secret of Nim or something like that. You know, like a cartoon that anyone can play kind of thing, right? Or anyone can watch. Although Secret of Nim is pretty fucking scary. <laughs> and I'm sure there's probably some scary elements in here, too. But... That's the game. Very, very, very awesome title, Itora. Thank you, Red, for the recommendation. Red mentioned it, Red and Blue in Discord, he mentioned it, and I was like, cool, I'll keep an eye out. Uh, and then I happened to see it again, so I was like, okay, okay, okay. If I, The second recommendation is enough for me to check it out. And sure enough, uh, it's a solid winner in my book, so. Game is available prior to April 4th for $16.99 or after that $19.99. Seems like there's plenty of adventure here for all that. Mostly positive reviews on uh, Steam as well, so that's always a good sign. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike BAK Phony. I will see you guys later.